Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I am Garv here and that's the 20th video of this series. So first of all I'm gonna congratulate you guys cause finally we have reached on the second milestone of the game dev journey with me. And now in today's video we will create some awesome effects like collision effect, destroy effect and then the last but not least we will create a thunder flash effect. So let's get started but before we begin as I always say if you are new in this channel then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon it's absolutely free. Alright so let's create some explosion and thunder effects for our game to make it more interesting. Ok now it's our project and here first we will create a projectile collision effect. This means that whenever our projectile will hit an enemy or something like wall then we will see some sparks, explosion or something like that. Ok so to get that kind of effect we will use the particle system in order to create our explosion effect. And the particle system is very important and robust tool in the unity which allows us to create some awesome visual effects such as clouds, liquid, flame etc. There are endless possibilities, you just need to use your imagination and keep exploring that tool. Ok so right click on the hierarchy tab and then here if we take a look under the effects you see that here we have something called particle system and now click on that and then we have a particle system in the game scene. Now if we carefully look at that then there are two main parts of the particle system. First we have an invisible point where these particles are spawning that invisible point called emitter and then the second part of the particle system are these white dots which are seen moving upwards and these white dots are called particles. Particles. So basically a particle system simulates and renders many small images or messages to produce a visual effect. Now one thing is that the particle system itself isn't a game object cause it's a component that can be added to any game object. So that's why when I created a particle system then an empty game object was also created in the game scene. And on that game object you see we have a particle system component attached on it. Now here if we take a look at our particle system within the inspector tab here we see that we have a bunch of options and settings such as duration, start lifetime, start speed, start color and so on. There are so many things and values to play with. And then after these settings we also have number of slides or blocks which are called modules. And these modules are responsible to control the behavior of the particle system. So each of these modules has its own specific settings and capabilities like here we have emission, shape, noise and so on. But don't panic looking at all these modules, settings and bunch of numbers cause for now we are not gonna use all these modules to create our collision effect. So now just relax and take a deep breath right and stay with me. Soon you will be comfortable using the particle system. Ok so before we start playing with the particle system first let's change its name to collision effect. And then I'll move it a little bit so that we can see it properly. So now let's start working on it and carefully follow all my steps to make your collision effect. Okay first of all we need to go to the shape module and here in the shape we will set sphere so that the particles will spawn in all direction and then the radius to something very small like 0.2. And next we have a render module so with the help of this module we can set different shape of the particles like a star, circle, box etc. From here we can give it any design and shape by using material. For now I want to change particle shape to square instead of these white dots. Okay so let's go all the way down to the renderer module and here I'll give it a sprites default material but you can give it your own custom material. Now over here you see we have a little box and here we have three buttons play, restart and stop to control the particle system. So when I press the start button you see that the particles start to be emitted but it doesn't look like a small explosion. It should be stopped immediately right? Well to stop emitting these particles in certain amount of time here we will uncheck looping cause we don't want our particles to be emitted over and over again and you see that after few seconds these particles are stopped emitting. Now reduce its duration to 0.5 and now again when I hit the play button then you see that this time only few particles were emitted for a very short time. 
This is because we have reduced the duration of the particle system to 0.5 seconds so that the particle system will run only for 0.5 seconds. And then here I'll set the start lifetime to 0.5 seconds so the start lifetime controls particles life means how long these particles will live. Now you see the effect when I run the particle system it looks like a small sparks but it still looks too slow. I want here an immediate explosion. To do this we will increase the simulation speed up to 5. And now let's test it. And yeah it looks so awesome. Now we need some more particles here. Ok so in the emission module here we have a rate over time. This means that how many number of particles we emit per second. So here I want 50 particles per second. And then we will move on the start size. It's represent to the size of the every particles when they initially spawn. So here I want some variety of these particles so that we can get two different size of particles. To do this we will click on that little arrow button then we will choose random between two constants and I would set it 0.2 and 1. Now let's test it and it already looks nice. Ok we are almost done with the collision effect. Now finally we need to give it some colors to make it bit more prettier. So let's go down there in the color over lifetime module and here we will choose random between two gradient and then I will set its color. So I've already made some gradients and you can give it your own gradient but if in case you don't know how to use gradient editor then I've already made a quick short video on it and I've given that link down there in the description box or up here on the card. And now hit the play button and yo wow it looks nice it looks great. Now we just created a simple sparks for our projectile collision effect. Now it's time to create a destroy effect for our player and the enemy so that whenever our player or the enemy will get destroyed then we will see the destroy effect. So to make it let's just duplicate that collision effect and rename it to destroy effect. And here we'll make some minor modifications so let's do it quickly. Reduce simulation speed to 1 then increase start speed up to 20. And now here within the emission module we will use burst. Now click on the plus icon and and then increase the burst count to 40. And that's it we are done with the destroy effect. Now let's test it and that looks awesome. Now let's make them prefabs by dragging them into the prefabs folder and then get rid of them from the hierarchy tab. Now let's make a thunder flash. To create thunder flash we will use UI image. So let's move on to the UI and here within the canvas we will create a UI image and name it thunder flash effect and then I'll give it a blue color and then I'll set it a little bit transparent like um, 80 yeah 80 looks fine and then up here in the rack transform I'm gonna choose the bottom right preset by holding all button and then click on it so that it will perfectly fit with the canvas and after that by default I'll set it to disable okay so idea is that whenever our player or the enemy will get destroyed at the exact same time that UI image will be activated for a very short time and then it will be deactivated like this. So in this way it will create an illusion which is as fast as a thunder flash. It's very cool isn't it? So now guys we are created over all three effects. So that's all in this video and now in the next video we will implement these all effects in our game by using script. So till then keep learning keep practicing and I'll meet you in the further upcoming videos. For now, see ya later.